Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Houdini tutorial for the beginners episode number two. And in this video, you will be learning this amazing creation. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So guys, right now we are in Houdini FX version 18.0.597 and before starting anything, we have to set up our projects from file, new and all, all the basic stuffs which I already have shown on my last video. If you missed that, you can go and click on the i button here and you can enjoy. And also if you are new in this channel, then don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share and also press the bell notification button because we will be coming up with more amazing contents. Okay, so let's start with the main tutorial part. So first of all, here you have to take a geo. So just press tab and take a geo. Just a call geometry and then just press click and it will come like this. Now you can renaming it. I just left it like this. So just double click here. It will go inside. Now press tab and we have taking a sphere here. Just click and drag it so it will come like this. It's a basic sphere. Now here from the primitive type, let's change it to primitive from polygon soap. So now it will create like this, like geo mesh. And after that, we have to increase the divisions here. Just increase the frequency value from let's take around uh, 10. It's good number. Yes, this is very dense and it's pretty amazing. Now here we have to take another call like tab mountain and it's something like that. Now press this now it will feel like something like a rough kind of texture now you have to increase some settings so just increase the height a little bit something like that let's make it to four and yeah four is good now element size should be little down so that no not little down let's yeah this is fine and if you want to change the roughness you can change it from here and this option also you can change this is like a normal seeds and also my case uh, this one is good enough and yeah this is fine okay so now let's take another node called scatter just tab and then scatter and then click it here and it will see like this now you have to change some settings here so first of all go down and now the relax rotation let's take around three and then the maximum relax radius take around 25 and the scale radius a little down and something like that now you have to play with all the settings okay so now you have to select all this and then control c and control v because we are just copying in and pasting it here now just making it a little bit precise so in the second area you have to take a transform node here so just drag and then take a transform and then the transform and we have to transform it a little bit bigger so just we have to uniform scale it like this and uh, rotate it let's take around 45 and randomly you can rotate like 90 then 25 degree so it's basic random rotations here it's, it's just a normal setting and now you have to merge it by pressing tab merge it and just find it like this and now just simply drag it and drop it so now it will merge so now we have those both here so you see this is the back one and this is the current one which is the bigger one is my current one and the smaller one is the last one okay so the basic steps are and now you have to take another node just tab and then co double n and you can find this co n n e c to connect this one and just release it and let's see and then just click here double click and where you can find this connection type just change it from this one so now you can see all the flexors areas are started visible now you have to change some several settings set just if you increase this search radius to let's take around 0 0.25 so it will come like very dense kind of thing so if you can see this is my last one which is look like these particles and this is my next one which is pretty much densed here so this is the basic difference of this two particle from the calculations which will come here okay so now you have to take another node but before that i'm just decreasing this one a little bit down so let's take around like 20 yeah 20 is good enough because in this tutorial i can't show you the high resolution of output so now you have to take by pressing tab poly where and it will come here so poly where and now whenever you will click this one it will start taking some buffer time because it, there are so many polys connections here so just click here and you have just to wait because you can see this area started their processing okay so here it is look like and now you have to decrease the shapes of the polygons so just from the where radius just click here and just press 0 1 or you can use the 0 0 0.5 because I really prefer to 005 because this is very thin and also looks super crispy 
and then just click anywhere okay so it's, it looks now really really good and now we are adding in this joint some cubes or also you can use spheres or any kind of primitives which you really prefer so first of all i'm taking a like box because i i really prefer box release it and now i'm taking a copy stamp node just release it and just simply connect with this merge and after that take a normal merge merge here and we have to merge these two yes and whenever you click here you can exactly see the all the boxes here it's pretty high so just click in this box and uniform scale it let's take around 0 0.2 and it's still still very high so let's make it to 0 0.5 uh, or let's make it to like simply one and it's it's good but the, it's very big so what you can do just take a transform node trans transform and connect it to here and now you can decrease the size completely up on your on your controls and yes this is so nice okay so now we are taking for the materials i'm taking here just tab and then type just like materials and you can find this material here just click here and just release it here so now this will be on the boxes custom texture material node okay so now it's, it looks super nice but the rotations are all the same axis so now what we have to do select the copy here and where you can find this many options so first of all in the rotation panel select this one and you can just press the dollar button and then capital P and T position transformation click here it will take some time to load and then it will release it so just select this and then just select control v and select and control v so now all the rotations are like random rotations and all if you notice it it was changed okay so now you have to apply the materials so just go back to obj so this is a basic main geo and now from the material palette i'm just taking a principal shader one and also another principal shader for the boxes so just rename it to like poly and this one will be our boxes so just rename it to box because whenever you will apply this these namings are very much important so the poly purpose i'm changing it from like a default we have this many options here so for this case i am using like silver rocks anything if you want to use a wax white paint for this one silver is pretty much good take it like silver and the base color is white is good enough and the boxes color to let's check around a little bit different like a metal grit and the default color should be let's take around red i'm i don't know i'm just doing it like roughly you can play with this is completely up to you and now you have to go back to our main source so just go here from obj and now you can apply the materials from the render option this is the material palette just click here and you can find your materials under this like box and poly for this is a poly so just select this and accept so now what happened if you notice the all the polys are completely changed with the material now inside of this geo we are applying for the boxes here so just click this material one and you have find this material here select this one and you can find this box one and then just press accept so now what happened this boxes color are right now changed to the red see it's a pretty basic simple way and now we have to go back to obj we have to take some lighting setups and all before that we have to check our camera so just select this area and from no cam like select a new camera so our camera is done and this is basic stuff simple i already shown the same things on my last tutorial again if you still not watch you can go and check and also subscribe to vfx world now i'm taking a point light and uh, let's take around this area and move it to the top and let's make it to like behind here and we are increasing the exposure to a little bit here and this is yeah this is fine and now we're taking another point light and take it to here and let's move it to something here and just a little bit here and then increase the exposure and that this color should be this one and uh, this one will be the previous one let's take around like uh, orange or yellow it's good yeah so it's feel like a little more blue and yellow it's good okay so now you have to take your output like a mantra so go here and from the output just press tab and then take a mantra and release it and here you have to check all the render settings so just go to this camera you can find all the camera one is detected here successfully just click this override camera resolutions from one by two let's take around user specified resolution and this is like 120 by 720p it's, it's good number and go to the rendering panel you can use the depth of field 
I, I don't prefer for depth of field here and you can use this pixel samples to increase the good number of uh, pixel samples to that your rendering output will be very much good and now it's it's fine to be rendered and we have to go to this camera view from no cam go to this camera render view you have to check from the obj render cam and make sure you have to turn on this denoise and if you still not find this denoise you have to go to this render and you have to download nvidia optic x denoiser and just turn this on and then start rendering and in this case i'm just turning it on and just press it render so guys i hope you really enjoyed this amazing short simple tutorial from houdini for the beginner purpose episode number two and if you really love this video then don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and also follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter because i updated all the process of tutorials before on my social media handles so guys see you in my next video with some amazing content till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking keep watching vfx world